and welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky and Milton for a new video of our travel series and today I wanted to talk about how to get your dog ready for traveling. So these are what you need to do before you actually go travel with your dog and these apply to either if you want to travel with them by train or by flight. This is what we do. Uh, we've traveled with the girls quite a bit and we are getting ready right now to travel with them again in February to go back to California. So I thought this would be the perfect timing to show you how we get them ready to travel. So first you need to check the requirements of the country of destination as far as pets entering the country and to do so you just go on Google, you type in the country and you check customs or border control and pets. You should get to the website of that country's government for example and all the necessary uh, documents that you need in order to cross the border with your dog. So for example, if we go to the United States, what we need is a good standing certificate of their rabies vaccination. And last time uh, that we were going to travel to California, Milton was due for her rabies shots. And when your pup is due for rabies shots, it needs to be administered at least 30 days before departure time because that's the amount of time that the dog's body needs in order to develop the antibodies. So for the US, we need a certificate for the rabies vaccine saying the date it was administered and the date that it is due again. While we were doing the vaccination last time, we also asked them a health certificate for the girls saying that they were healthy, etc. But that is not mandatory. Uh, you should still check to see if it gets updated as a requirement. Other countries also require microchipping, so you should check that before leaving. And they're very specific about the dates and the types sometimes of microchip that you need. For example, in Europe, I think they require a certain type of microchipping in your dog for you to travel with them. Next, what you should do is check the airline requirements or the train requirements. Most of the time, your dog usually needs to be in a pet carrier that is airline approved with certain measurements and the dog needs to be under the seat in front of you. As you may or may not know, Herky and Milton travel with us as emotional support pets. So they do not need a carrier, but we still have some carrier recommendations. If you haven't checked the video, I'll leave it in the info card. Otherwise, you should go through the steps in order to get your certification documents ready. The girls as emotional support pets, they only need a doctor's note from my physician so that's what I bring along as well. What you should do next is check the hotel or your accommodation facilities, the requirements regarding dogs and what their pet policy is. Certain hotels only accept dogs up to a certain weight so you should make sure that your dog respects that. And also check uh, what they have as far as policies and what I mean by that is some hotels and accommodation don't allow you to leave your dog in the room if you're not there with them. So if you're traveling and you intend to leave your dog in the room, just make sure that the hotel is okay with you leaving them there or if at least they have some dog sitting services. Which brings me to my next step is to also check local pet sitting services or doggy daycares that are near your area where you're traveling if you need to leave them somewhere for a day. What you should do next is check the car rental company if you're about to rent a car to see what their requirements are for dogs and inform them. Certain car rental companies don't allow dogs at all. Certain rental car companies allow dogs in the carrier only so you should make sure of that. If you're traveling somewhere and you're not renting a car just make sure that dogs are allowed on public transits or in cabs or whatever mode of transportation that you're using. Also to keep your pet entertained while you're on vacation and away with them is to check what the local dog activities are and what you can do with your pet because if you're traveling with your pet you don't want them to just stay in the hotel room or at the doggy daycare at all times. You want to make sure that there's parks or activities or friends or meetups, beaches, parks, anything that you can do with them to keep them entertained as well. Next is to make sure that their name tags are up to date. Make sure that their name, a phone number that you can be reached at is on them at all times especially if you're in a different country. You want to make sure that you're reachable if ever uh, your pet gets lost. And also make sure that you have the rabies... Uh... <laughs> also make sure that you have the rabies... <laughs> what are you doing here, Kate? What? Make sure that you have the rabies tag on them also. That could be very helpful. And last but not least, this is not necessary, but that's what we did last time. We went to the vet in order to get some not sleeping pills, but it's a bit of like chill pills for dogs just to make them 
uh, calmer for traveling. So if you think your dog would need that, just make sure that you make an appointment with your vet in order to get the proper prescription. And that's it for tips. We can make another video of what to pack when you're traveling with your dog. So if you are interested in seeing that video, please thumbs up this video. And if you have other video recommendations, please leave them down below. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.